Hello friends, today in this tutorial we are going to learn how to calculate neck column can neck column quantities. So for calculating neck column quantities, first we have to understand what is neck column. Okay, so neck column is a column which starts from footing and ends at the ground level. Okay, starts from the footing and it then ends at the ground level. Okay, now your our depth of our what we say neck column is here we have 1500 mm okay and here if you see from the top we have your length 0.3 and breadth 0.45 meter okay so this is our length 0.3 and breadth 0.45 meter depth 1.5 meter now for these values we have to calculate volume of concrete shattering area and bitumen paint area so volume of concrete formula is length into breadth into depth cubic meter okay length into breadth into depth cubic meter so here we have 0 0.3 into 0 0.45 into 0 1.5 that will equal to 0 0.202 cubic meter okay now next we have to calculate shuttering area so shuttering area formula is length plus breadth into 2 into depth square meter that we call it as peripheral area of neck column okay now we have values here 0 0.3 plus 0 0.45 into 2 into 1.5 square meter so our shuttering area will be equals to 2.25 square meter okay now after calculating shuttering area we have to calculate bitumen paint area so the formula is like first we have to apply this four sides okay four sides of a column we have to apply so the formula will be same like shuttering area value will be same like what we got in the shuttering area so same formula length plus breadth into 2 into depth okay then same it we call it as a peripheral area of neck column okay so uh where for a neck column or for a flow column what will be the area of shuttering the same will be the area of our bitumen paint but in the flow column we don't apply uh, bitumen paint it will be only for the neck column okay so this l plus b into 2 into d is our peripheral area of neck column okay so value will be same as shuttering 2.25 square meter okay now we have got the volume of concrete 0.202 shuttering area 2.25 square meter bitumen paint area 2.25 square meter now for the same length breadth and depth we have to calculate the reinforcement so this is our reinforcement drawing from a section of column neck column and footing okay so your neck column reinforcement start from here and ends here okay so first we have to understand the detailing here neck column to all uh, footing all up we have 40d to 50d or we can take as a bend that is equals to 16d okay general overlapping here we have 50d okay and uh, height here we have as 1500 plus 400 means 1900 mm that will be equal to 1.9 meter okay now for the stirrups okay so for the stirrup length breadth here we have 300 mm length and 450 mm breadth and we have here six main bars that is of 12 mm T12 means 12 mm bars we have to use okay now stir up here we have 8 mm at the 100 mm spacing center to center now here we are using 40 mm cover okay so here we have 300 mm length so 40 minus 40 make 80 minus uh, if you do 80 subtraction then we will get 220 from 450 if you subtract 80 we will get 370 because we are using here cover 40 mm now we have to calculate the neck column reinforcement so general overlapping is 50 d neck column to footing overlap we'll, we are taking a 45 d now first we have to calculate the main bars so length of the main bar is equals to l, l plus 0 0.4 plus 45 d plus 50 d why because if you see in the drawing here this is our l this is 0 0.4 okay now uh, this what we say the overlap we are taking this as 45d and above we are taking 50d so l plus 0 0.4 plus 45d plus 50d we have to substitute the values and we'll get the length of main bar is equals to 3.04 meter okay now next is number of main bars number of main bars is equals to 6 which is given in the top drawing of stirrup drawing okay now total length so total length of main bar formula is length of bar into number of bars length of bar here we have 3.04 number of we have 6 so 3.04 into 6 will get 18.24 meter okay now we have to cal we have to see the diameter of main bar 
so here we have diameter of main bar 12 mm which is from the drawing okay six main bars t12 means 12 mm okay now for the main bar we have to see weight per meter okay so weight per meter here we have formula d square by 162 kg per meter okay d square means 12 12 is our diameter so d square means 12 square by 162 kg per meter we will get 0 0.88 kg per meter weight per meter of main bar 0 0.88 kg per meter now total weight of main bars we have to find out total length uh, is equals to total in the total length into weight per meter total length we have 18.24 weight per meter we have 0 0.88 so we will get 18.24 into 0 0.88 total weight of main bars is equals to 16.051 kgs okay 16 uh, no, total length of main bar 18.24 total weight of main bar 16.051 kgs right now we have to calculate the stirrup bar so first we have to see the length of stirrup bar formula l plus b into 2 plus 90 plus 90 why because if you see in the stirrup drawing this is our length this is our breadth so length plus breadth into 2 means for covering four sides okay then here we have two hooks one hook 90 one hook 90 so plus 90 plus 90 l plus b into 2 into plus 90 plus 90 okay so we'll substitute your value we'll get the answer 1.324 meter Length of stirrup bar we have got 1.324 meter. Now number of stirrup bar. Formula we have height of neck column by spacing plus 1. Height of neck column here we have from the drawing 1.5 plus 0 0.4 meter. Okay. And 100 mm center to center spacing that will be equal to 0 0.1 meter. So 1.5 plus 0 0.4 by 0 0.1 plus 1. 1.9 divided by 0 0.1 plus 1. Number of stirrup bars is equals to 20. Okay. Now we have to check the total length of stirrup bars. For total length of stirrup bars, length of stirrup into number of stirrup. So length into number of stirrups will get 26.48. Total length of stirrup bars 26.48 meter. Now diameter of stirrup bar we have 8 mm from the drawing. Okay. So if you see here stirrup T8 means 8 mm. Now weight per meter of stirrup bar is equals to D square by 162 kg per meter. D here we have 8 square 8. So 8 square by 162 kg per meter that will be equal to 0 0.39 kg per meter. Now total weight of stirrup bars. Total weight of stirrup bars equals to total length into weight per meters. Total length here we have 26.48. Weight per meter 0 0.39 kg. So we'll get here value total weight of stirrup bars 10.32 kgs okay friends so uh, this is how we have calculated our quantities now we will take a quick recap so if you see here volume of concrete we have got 0 0.202 cubic meters shattering area we got 2.25 square meter bitumen paint area we got 2.25 square meter same as shattering area okay now main bars total length of main bar 18.24 meter total weight of main bar 16.5051 kgs okay now for the stirrup total length of stirrup bars 26.48 meter total weight of stirrup bars 10.32 kgs okay friends if you find any difficulties while calculating neck column feel free to contact us through our comments if you like our tutorial please do subscribe and share with your friends okay share as much as possible with your civil engineering friends and thank you very much for your support for your encouragement please don't forget to subscribe one more time, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.